what's up traders key on here we're going to be looking at the watch list for tomorrow's trading session while also using unusual whales option flow software to see if the stocks that we're looking at are more bullish or bearish so the four stocks that we're going to be looking at tonight is dt amc m as macy's and s e so let's start out with dt because dt caught my eye with some flow that i want to show you guys but let's look at the chart first so we can see that dt has broken below the 8 ema we do have some resistance at 61.99 area so we got rejection here rejection here so where is our gonna where is our support gonna be so around 58 0.17 as you can see this was a previous support so we can use 58.2 as a support and 61.58 as a resistance this 21 ema is sitting at 61.05 so we can definitely use that as a resistance as well ttm tried to fire long but could not a lot more selling than buying we did get some heavy call flow into DT. I'm going to show you that, show you guys that right now. So with unusual whales, this is the settings that I like to use. Um, 50,000 plus uh, in premium range. I only like to look at the ask calls and puts. Um, as far as the emojis, again, I don't look at the bids. Um, I don't look at indexes or leaps. So index as in you know NDX, SPX. Um, you know, Dow Jones. Um, so those are the emojis that I take out. And that should be it. And then obviously excluding uh, deep in the money, you know, because a lot of premiums are very expensive. But as you can see here, they're buying a lot of the 70 calls for May. Um, $66,000 worth, $169,000 worth. We did get a 70 call for May again. Um for a $3.3 million order. But here's the thing though, this is a BTO and STO. So this is a multi leg trade. So if you change the premium range, right? So obviously we have a lot more orders, but these are tiny orders, right? So these are very small orders, but we're looking like 6.26 million to 302,000 put premium. So it's a very bullish option flow. And now if you click it, you know, we can see the historical flow, which looks like, I mean, 77.6% call volume to 22.4%. And if we look at the, you know, the option chain, as far as the call volume versus put volume today has been very bullish. So 16,971 calls to 681 puts. So with that being said, if you go back to the chart, we would like to see if DT could break over this 61.58 right and get out of this downward trend line and see if it can pop right back up so that is dt now let's go to amc it's stock that gained over a thousand percent in 2021 so let's see what will happen in 2022 and obviously a lot of people have hit this jackpot last year so what we're seeing is that there is support at around the 26.2 level so we can use that as support and we do have some resistance here so around 30.73 so for me i'm not even going to bother entering this trade because it's just stuck in this channel you know i don't want to be you know stuck in consolidation so above 30.73 look for the 200 ema as your first resistance and if it continues, look at the 50 EMA, which is around 32.55. Below 26.43, where is the next support, which is around at 24.07. Okay, so below 26.43, look at 24.02. Above 30.73 for a breakout for calls. TTM is getting tight, but today a lot more selling pressure so let's check out the flow for amc let's pull this up 
So if we're looking at the flow for AMC, if we change the premium, so let's say 100,000, right? Okay. Well, the only thing that we've gone over 100,000 is a lot of bearish puts. Okay. So 29 puts, it's showing, you know, I mean, there's more calls than puts, right? So 19.42 million to 15.93 million. Um, but if we're using 100,000 premium range with just the ass size, the calls and puts, we see a lot more puts. Now, if we actually click into AMC, we look at the option chain for today. So today there was more call volume, right? So 194,000 to 103,000. Now, and also the total open interest for today is 1.4 million to 835.3 thousand. So it is, you know, the flow is looking more bullish, but, you know, always have your key levels ready. So look for that 30.73 resistance or the 26.43 support. All right, next stock, Macy's. So let's get these lines out of here. All right, so we can see that Macy's, this was a previous resistance, right? So right here, right, 28.4. Four, right so once it broke that resistance we see that it pushed up consolidated a bit before it made its next run so we're gonna see if Macy's can repeat that pattern so above 28.44 it should fill the gap you know back to the 30 range right but this is a tough resistance so rejected here rejected here and that's when it finally made them of TTM is firing, right? So there is more bullish momentum. I really like this setup, um, but if we're looking for puts, we can use this support right here, which is around 26.12. So right now it's above the 50, it's above the 21, and it's above the eight, right? And it's above the 200, obviously. So. As far as the moving averages, it is in a bullish pattern. So all we need to see is if it can break the 28.44 level. So let's see the flow for them. So if you look at Macy's total open interest for today was 256.7 thousand calls to 260 puts. For today, we see that the call volume is six, 68,799 to 16,981. So more calls than puts for today. But what I'm looking at most importantly is that 28.44 breakout. Above that, we can see the 30 level. All right. Let's check out our last stock, which is SE. All right. So SE obviously had, you know, a terrible last couple months but let's see if we can get a bounce here so again as you can see we've got resistance here so 231.4 and we do have some support at around 215.66 so again we're in this you know kind of this box consolidation type pattern right so above 231.4 we want to reclaim the 21 first right before we become you know, a full bull on this stock, right? Now, if it goes below 215.66, you have a tiny support here, but, you know, we can even go below to the lows, which is around 201, I should say. Perfect. So above 231.4, look for a reclaim of the 21 EMA. Below 215.66, could get pretty ugly if it breaks below this 210 level but let's see what the flow is saying all right so today's open interest for monday was 228,000 calls to 210.8 thousand puts with a total of 438.9 thousand again for so today's options chain right so 26,000 and 32 calls to 14,300 96 puts so if you look at the overall flow let's just change this almost 11.49 million to 10.45 we did get some small orders but if you change the premium 
to let's say 50,000. The last orders were, you know, mainly um, bearish positionings. All right. And that's it for tonight's watch list. If you have any questions about unusual whales, uh, if you love the service, I do have a referral code on my Twitter at Keon Trades. And again, if there's any questions that you may have on flow or charting, do not be afraid to ask any questions, you know, on my Twitter, or, you know, or you know, join our Discord for absolutely free for seven days. And all the links are in my bio. All right, guys, have a great night.